Hello again folks. This is just a short video explaining a circuit that I described in a um, Night Hawk and Light video where he was talking about a solar tracker that he made using uh, four solar panels that uh, run a motor when the sun runs or sun hits them. And I was explaining one that could be done with just the solar panel that's being used to actually generate energy in the system. And so it's a pretty simple circuit. And I'm pretty sure that it can be pulled off with all the same type of MOSFETs. I've got all N channels here. I really think it could probably be pulled off with all P channel MOSFETs. You could do it proper and put P channels on the top side. I, I really don't think it matters. This is a very simple circuit. So it's based off the fact that when uh, you feed light into an LED, you get a voltage out of it, like a photovoltaic cell. And so you have you know, extremely small photovoltaic cells here, and you stack them in series, and you can get a, a decent voltage, enough to run a logic level MOSFET. And so, basically, you just make an H-bridge out of your MOSFETs, and uh, notice, uh, you know, ignore these, these X'd out connections, those aren't real. Notice these are connected across like that, and so these LEDs are actually going to be the ones on one side of the panel. These are going to be the ones on the other. And so uh, when light shines on them, you, uh, you're pulling the gates of the MOSFETs high. And uh, just high enough, basically, to let current flow. So you're going to be pulling... Uh, this one's going to be uh, pulling the gate of this one high. And this one's going to be pulling the gate to here high. And so you're going to get current flowing up through the motor like that and it's going to spin one direction and then if it's if the sun moves enough to fall on the other LEDs obviously it's going to you know pull the other uh, yeah sorry pull the other gates high and it's just going to go the other direction you know current's going to flow up and through like that and uh, naturally the, the extension of that is just to put another circuit uh, with another motor for the other axis and that should do it. Uh, I may take a little bit extra to solve for the problem of the sun rising the next morning and realigning the whole panel to that. Uh, right now, you know, a simple mirror is a pretty elegant solution to that problem with this current setup. I'm not entirely sure what you could do about that because to shield the LEDs from ambient light it'd probably be best to uh, spray paint a, a straw black and just cut segments of it and fit it over the LEDs so they're pointing directly at the light just right at the edge of where the the panel is so you know, they just barely show and activate the circuit and move the panel just enough to keep it perfectly aligned and uh, naturally that would exclude the chance of any light coming in from the side uh, in the next sunrise and activating that so I don't know if something clever might have to be done there but uh, if you don't mind manually resetting it this is a very simple solution that doesn't require extra panels that are, are a lot more costly this right here I mean LEDs are cheap as crud resistors are cheap as crud by the way these resistors you know they're just just to keep the, the MOSFETs biased in an off state basically when uh, when no light is shining on the LEDs, and so the, they're not the value of them isn't terribly important. They could be probably 100Ks. They could probably be up to uh, I don't know. You, you don't want it to be so high that ambient light makes these drive the gates because then they just sit in kind of waste power. I mean, you might get them all being driven, and then you'll have a lot of leakage going through, and you really don't want that. So you definitely don't want the resistors being too high. But it shouldn't matter all that much. I mean, these aren't you know, these aren't real photovoltaic panels, so they shouldn't be putting out too much power. Uh, anyway, yeah, that's it. I think you get it. Later, y'all.